Hey everybody, I wanted to make a short video and it's been a while since I've made one uh, but I wanted to highlight uh, two add-ons that I've started using. Uh, one is Can I Mog It? <clears throat> so basically it just records whether uh, you've uh, learned a... Uh, it gives some tool tips in order to tell you whether you've learned an appearance or not. Uh, the other one is uh, Monar's Wardrobe Helper. So one of the things, uh, so when I'm looking, if I'm on one, uh, maybe a plateware, and I find something on the auction house that's uh, cloth or something else, I can't tell if it's something I haven't learned or not. <clears throat> I can only tell if it's plate and, you know, if it's a weapon or something like that. So I'm in this, uh, in a raid finder, and... <clears throat> So it it'll it will show you it's like hey I I haven't learned that I well I can't learn it but this kind of saying what this is saying is uh, since I can't learn it but it's soul bound and it's cloth but I anyway the little uh, green minus sign there set basically tells me that uh, I need to come in here with a cloth where and uh, hopefully get this dropped to, in order to learn it so if it's got a blue check mark. <clears throat> you know, you can clearly see it says learned there. Um, the other problem that I've run into before is uh, you'll get these drops. So, gauntlets of crackling power, uh, sorry, gauntlets of the crackling protector. So, the other thing is you get these and it's like, well, that's 50 gold. Or I could learn it, uh, or I could right click on it and it'll turn into something that's actually worth less than 50 gold. I, I'm pretty sure it's worth less than 50 gold. <clears throat> but luckily this says uh, it, it can be exchanged for appearances you don't need. So that means I can sell it. So what I do is I, I have a, another tool called Scrap and basically you take this, uh, anything that you want to set as junk, you can uh, drop it on there and it sets it as junk <clears throat> and then I also with uh, pan the Pandaria stuff a lot of these uh, uh, drops in here the green drops are just <clears throat> they're just so common that and, and you know it's nine gold sell price I, I think I've talked about this in an another video but it, it's just it's probably not going to sell. It's not that maybe great of a <clears throat> of a transmog anyway. So and it's you know a lot of these a lot of people are running uh, the different Mist of Pandaria uh, instances. So they're they're gonna they're gonna learn it if they haven't gotten it already. So it's almost useless to uh, list it. I have gotten a few drops of some rare ones that maybe uh, are currently I, I've put them up and uh, I guess some other people have them up but they look like they're going for about four or five thousand gold so you'll get some rare ones in there <clears throat> that that are actually worth a lot um, and what I would recommend if you don't have them just run these instances uh, uh, quite a few times and <clears throat> you know, when you get uh, two or three of the item, go ahead and learn it, and then just sell the rest, um, and and that that'll probably make things uh, help help you figure out whether you need uh, whether you find a rare one or not. But <clears throat> if you're running TSM, you'll kind of see that uh, maybe something's worth a lot more than it, it normally is, and that uh, um, that can be uh, helpful as well. Um, uh, the other thing it, it does is, if let's see if I switch to this, it can show you, uh, so, so what it shows you is if it's got a, uh, if you can learn it, it's got like a orange X on it. Uh, if you haven't learned it, but you, you're, you're prevented from learning it because it's a different, uh, um, um, armor type, then it'll have a little star on there so that that can be helpful if you're looking to go through all your stuff so I've, I've found that that's been 
a lot more helpful in determining what I you know go ahead and buy off the auction house because I, I haven't learned a lot of the stuff in here so I'm still selling a lot of the items um, <clears throat> that uh, I haven't learned the transmog on and so that's actually another thing I would recommend is maybe if you're first starting out don't go and you know start learning all these uh, different appearances unless that, that's something you really really want to do but there, there's some you'll probably want to go ahead and get just because they're pretty cool but <clears throat> that'll kind of give you an idea of how valuable something might be um, you know if you have like three or four of them that you farmed up then maybe it's not worth as much as uh, it it should be and also I would say all of the mist of Pandaria a lot of the warlords and uh, BFA stuff the really common stuff and I've also seen cataclysm too you know there's just a ton of stuff if you farm uh, Bastion of Twilight for some uh, Ember Silk or something, you'll get a lot of greens and really it, they either just disenchant them or sell them outright. So anyway, uh, thanks and y'all have a good day. Bye.